Good evening and welcome to our newsroom, The Headlines. Operations of registration for the Hajj 2017 continuing within the Ministry of Waqf. In Iraq, the main stronghold of Islamic State liberated by the Iraqi forces. That was the Highlands and now welcome to the news. The feast of the fourth anniversary of the country's independence is not over. It continues around the world where our diplomatic representative and consulate are still celebrating. This time it is in the United Arab Emirates where a feast which in a color has been organized in the Kembiski Hotel of Dubai by our ambassador in United Arab Emirates, Mr. Osman Musa. The feast has been marked by traditional traditional and patronic and science and dance. The Jewish generation in Dubai have in a great number took part in this celebration of the independence and express the pride. The registration operations of the pilgrims for the year 2017 continues in the headquarters of the Muslim Affairs Ministry. These operations have started from 5 July to the random group organized by the Ministry. In total, 1,100 Jibosian will perform their religious duty according to the responsible of the Ministry. The Director of the Muslim Affairs, El Saleh Ahmed Abdullah, and the responsible of the Hajj and Umrah, Usman Wale Umar, have urged the Jibusian pilgrims to respect the Hajj calendar established by the Ministry of Muslim Affairs in order to register to pilgrims who have won the random draw this year. They have explained that all the necessary measures and procedures were taken into account by the Ministry in order to allow the pilgrims to accomplish the rituals in the best conditions. In the framework of the 2017 pilgrimage, the National Institute of Public Health has begun this morning the, the distribution of vacation pleasing to the national program. To this effect, the program has received a prevention vaccination against infectious diseases like the yellow fever. Furthermore, this vaccination will protect the pilgrims against any epidemic during their stay in the pilgrimage. This initiative is part of the recommendation made by the World Health Organization and the National Institute of Public Health. During this period of summertime, where there is constant heat, the Jibusin spend energy to get to work, which causes them 
many health problems in these heat waves. They are harmful for human bodies and can cause instant dehydration. According to Dr. Dahir Abdul Karim Omar, specialist in nephrology medicine at the Pelti Hospital, the ordinary temperature of the body shall not be affected in any case by the heat, otherwise several health problems will be caused by this. People can easily avoid these problems if only they give attention to themselves and protect their health from the sun and heat using umbrellas and drinking a lot of water. The chief of the armed forces, Major General Sekresha Ibrahim, has decorated this morning the officer of the French forces stationed in Djibouti. It is the president of the General Tori and the Kuno, commander of the French forces, the director Tahir Mohamed, the defense general Hassan Ali Kamil, as well as a numerous officer from the port side. This officer have illustrated during their stay in Djibouti the cooperation between the two forces. French and Jewish, and including the 40th anniversary festivities. Orden Nacional de Mancilla. Je parie Orden Nacional de Mancilla. For this occasion, the Major General Zekiria Shalibrahim has made a speech in which he addressed its best wishes for the 14th of July of a friend's anniversary to the French forces stationed in Djibouti. He has also thanked the officers and congratulated them for their undeniable efforts. He then paid tribute to the Colonel Yaravier de Tocquat, a commander of the 5th realm, for his role in relations between the two forces. The Minister of the Peace would cooperate with the text the Russian and partnership within the Japanese society called MPC organized today at the Taste Hotel of Work Room formation which also take part in the Jewish businessmen. The main objective of this meeting is to ameliorate the cooperation between the fiscal administration and the treasury. The fiscal administration will have uh, the daily respect realized by the trader, this actually was uh, animated by the spurs uh, that it will continue when we get to visit uh, the file uh, shadowed uh, nearby the businessmen who are constantly within cooperation the Japanese society MBC. The workshop was uh, preceded by the Secretary General, uh, the Minister of the PC, Mr. Simon Emi uh, Proto, uh, the President of the Director of Tax, Mr. Saad Gelderar, and the final the chief of the project, Mr. Mohamed al -Wain. Secretary General of the Minister of the National Education in Professional Training, Mohamed Abdel Mahyoub, launched yesterday a sequence of uh, training carrying out about the excess management within result. The second wave of the training destined for all the directors and the chief services as well held the education center of the primary education which will continue until 27 July. This ceremony which linked an important border and responsible of the MENFAB which will uh, animate by the specialist Mr. Hinat Daoud. 
regret to announce you the death of Mr. Ahmed Ari Gidi, who died by in Ethiopia, especially horror. He was born in Djibouti in 1939 and worked with the French Gendarmerie in the 16 and is incorporated with uh, the Jewish National Gendarmerie in 1977. The deceased left behind him a window and three children. In all the international news in Iraq, Mosul, which was returned to the Islamic State the last Sunday, the principal of Iraq, Bastion, the Islamic State, which was liberated, the Iraqi forces will lodge this rock. In terms of offense upon a long respiration, and will continue in nine months with international coalition support. The chief of the Iraqi government, Haider al -Abadi. the official victory will only be a question of time. That's it for tonight's news. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night.